Hello everyone, it is Blue Trap here, or Shady, depending on where you guys are coming from. Most of you guys might know me as Blue Trap though. And I have to say thank you for you all staying here within my hiatus. I know it gets very loose track of me whenever I just upload like five videos within five weeks and then I'm gone for like five months. I understand that that's kind of hard to keep track of me. I'm pretty sure most of you guys do not know I exist. And I thank you for that. But anyways, I am doing a character design today, as you guys can already tell. Uh, really a character redesign to be in fact. And I will tell you guys, this is going to be mostly rambling because I do not script these. I don't really know how to script voiceovers like this so that's just something I'm warning you guys about in like future videos that I'm gonna do will probably be scripted anyways this is mage you can see him in the corner his old design at least and what you're watching is me designing his new design for one I'm giving him a shirt because he doesn't have a shirt why doesn't he have a shirt because this person didn't know how to draw shirts on men two days ago I mean not two days ago two years ago I'm an idiot but that's a true story I, I i didn't know how to draw shirts on guys two years ago why because i was stupid and yes mage is two years old most of the time whenever i'm drawing dudes i either draw them in an oversized sweater uh hence shade fur from two years ago and <laughs> <laughs> or no shirt at all, but you know, I've been giving them shirts because they need shirts So anyways while I'm doing the line art here I'm going to kind of explain his personality a bit. So mage is stuck up He just is and he's also a corgi and half banshee. So he is Irish because they're an Irish folklore and Yes, I have researched about banshees a bit and I was kind of getting a little worried about him to change him up but there is a slim chance that there is a male banshee out there i don't know it was just from one source and i'm kind of going along with it if there's no such thing as a male banshee well, oh well his sister is more banshee than he is anyways his mom's the banshee too but anyways he is part banshee but mostly corgi and he's the elemental of magic because his name is Mage, Magic, so he has to be Magic, doesn't he? Anyways, I like his fluffy ears. I have this whole page in my sketchbook where I was just experimenting with his facial features, so I have kind of already designed his face, so this isn't like me going first trial on his design. I was experimenting with it in a sketchbook that I'll probably post on Instagram. Instagram is in my link tree in the description, by the way. Whoop. But anyways, Mage is stuck up. He is bisexual and does have a boyfriend. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> That's why I cupped his jeans in this um, design, because I'm like, wait, he's gay. <laughs> so, he is indeed that. He does have a sister, as I did bring up. His sister's name is Molly, and I used her in the Hello Kitty meme. So, she herself is getting another redesign, as I no longer like her design anymore. And, you know, I need to make her look more wispy. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I've just been researching. But, anyways, I have shadows and normal mortals. I wouldn't relatively say they're mortals, as they're different creatures. But, mage does fall under the shadow category, as banshees, in my universe at least, are a form of shadows. And shadows necessarily don't mean, like, bad creatures. They're just creatures that kind of have negative correspondence, like his boyfriend, who is a werewolf is a shadow, um, but fairies, they could either fall under both shadows or light. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that's enough. Let's get on to the coloring phase. So I did kind of lighten up his darkest tone and that is going to be his main body. 
color. And then instead of going with a weird purple, I went with just lightening up even more. But I did want to keep some of his circles, not the one on the shoulder. I delete that later, as you just saw. So I just keep on going lighter. And for this one, I did go with a little bit more into the purpley area, I think. I kept his pink eyes because pink gave him more patterns to make him not look out of place, filled in his ears, and then when we get onto the clothes, I completely changed the color of his clothes, so maybe, yeah, I was messing around with keeping his pink pants, but then I'm like, no, I'm gonna make them blue like jeans normally are, and then you'll see me mess around with the belt a bit. It is too warm of a tone on the shirt color I'm going to give him, which I do revert to a pale, less saturated purple as his shirt color, so I changed his belt color, and that's pretty much um, who Mage is. I enjoy this uh, design, and he looks so much better than his old one. Don't mind the long legs, I did not feel like drawing feet. <laughs> Put him in a little space background, cause um, space is yes, and I don't know why I just correspond him with space, even though he's the magic elemental. Keep an eye out on more speed paints like this. Anyways, that's it.